to my bathroom. My name is Natalie Malia, and I'm so excited to bring you into my bathroom space today. And I never thought I would say those words. But the reason we are here today is because I'm going to show you some of the products that I have made over over the years to support a more healthy lifestyle. It has taken me a number of years to find products that I trust, that I love, and that I feel good about using on my body. Now, before I start bringing out my baskets that are behind me here, I just wanna mention that the reason this area is so important, especially for us women, is because we are applying these products to our skin. Our skin is our largest organ in the body and everything that we put on our skin gets, gets absorbed into our bloodstream. And if these products contain different synthetics, fragrances, and those types of things, it can really mess with your system. Okay, so do start paying attention to what you're purchasing. Start paying attention to what you're putting on your body. And I'm going to give you a quick tour of my bathroom cabinet. So the first thing I'm going to pull out is this basket here or tray. <clears throat> this is my skincare and it looks like a lot of products. I don't use these every single day. I've just started collecting these again. Um, this is a, about a six year process. I've started just swapping things bit by bit. I didn't overhaul my entire medicine cabinet or bathroom cabinet all at once. It was definitely in stages, but this is what I have at this point. So most of these products, I believe the majority actually, are from doTERRA and they're mainly from our essential skincare collection. I do have the Virage Cleanser. I like to mix and match my skin systems uh, just based on how I'm feeling based on the texture that I've come to love of these products and the aroma. So I do take all of those things into consideration and I love that all of them are clean, all of them are so good for your skin, they're nourishing, they contain essential oils, which is a beautiful thing. Okay, so that's the first thing. And this is the first thing I use in the morning. After I brush my teeth, I wash my face. And every time I wash my face using this clean cleanser, I feel so good. I feel good that I'm using something that supports my health, which sounds funny because you wouldn't think a cleanser is supporting your health. The aroma is refreshing and invigorating. It just makes me so happy. So what a great way to start my day. Okay, so that's one thing. Next, let's really quickly talk makeup. Now I'm not going to give you any specific brands. I want you to do your own research so that you feel good about the products you're using and so that you start to learn about what to look for when you're purchasing these products. Now, <clears throat> I swapped my skincare a lot sooner than I swapped my makeup because makeup, what for me was a lot harder to figure out what to use. I'm actually not a huge makeup wearer um, or consumer. I tend to wear mascara, eyeliner, eyebrow gel, and that's it. The beautiful thing when you use clean products and when you take care of your body is that you actually don't need a lot of makeup. Makeup is something that you love and it just makes you feel good, but you no longer have to cake on your foundation with a powder unless you want to, but be bare, let your skin shine, let it glow, okay? So again, makeup was something that was super important to me to find cleaner versions. I have various brands here, I love them all. The only thing I have yet to find that I truly, truly love in clean makeup is a really good mascara. So I just wanted to point that out. I also in here have, oh, sorry for turning my back to the camera, a rack of essential oils. Okay, all good, nothing broke. <laughs> Whoops, um, I thought that was gonna go a lot better. I'm gonna stop touching them. Okay, I just wanted to show you that I do keep some essential oils in the bathroom space. These are ones that I love for different skincare reasons. I love using some of these in the shower as a steamer, but primarily the ones here on this rack are all intended to be mixed with either body lotion or my face cream. And I think that is it. I just really wanted to give you a quick tour of what is possible and really make uh, or bring awareness to the idea of paying attention to your skincare and your makeup. Thank you. Hey, so let's take this in a really different direction. In my bathroom, I have need for a few cleaning products, but only a scant few. This has been a big 
game changer for me over the years. Whereas we used to go out and buy something for each use, you know, the glass cleaner, shower door, mildew, floors, toilets, tubs, everything was different. I really like the fact that I now make everything and with a really scant few ingredients. So I've chosen, I've custom sort of curated five different recipes that I'm going to demonstrate today that do five different things, but I wouldn't even necessarily go that far. I could take the same all-purpose cleaner and use it throughout my bathroom and be quite happy with it, but I want to give you options and I want to show you a variety of uses for your essential oils. So without further ado, I'm going to pick up all my ingredients here so you will see me turn my back. My first is an all-purpose cleaning spray. You can use vinegar, water, essential oils, and nothing else, but I'm, I've taken it one step further. I wanted something to keep it a little bit better emulsified and wanted to make use of my on guard cleaner concentrate. So my first recipe, I have goofy labels. These are by no means scientific with recipes on them. In fact, I'd even put a sticker right on it telling me what the heck's in there. This is, it says make it sparkle, but it's a 16 ounce glass trigger spray bottle. I'm using smart and sassy. Okay, did I just rock your world? Probably, but I like the smell <laughs> and I have a lot of it. So I'm quite happy taking 25 drops for my 16 ounce bottle, which will last me a good while. And my main use for this is actually cleaning my tile floors because I have pets and they have accidents. But I could be doing sinks, tubs, even toilets, toilet seats with the same bottle. So I have a tablespoon of my On Guard Cleaner Concentrate. I've pre-measured so that you don't have to watch me measuring everything. In here is a half cup of vinegar. This is cleaning vinegar, but it could be any white spilled vinegar. Don't sweat it. I just like it, it's a smaller bottle. So there's my tablespoon. I will put, let's see if I can pop the top off with one hand, sorta. <laughs> I'm gonna put 25 drops. Hopefully they'll drop fast. Let's pretend that's 10. <laughs> I'm not really going to count because it doesn't really matter. I've put more, I've put less, it works. Let's call that 25. And the rest, I won't do it right now, but I would fill with distilled water. You can use tap, it's fine. If you do, you might want to take a pinch of salt and put that in there. It's also a good emulsifier for your essential oils, but it'll keep the water from having that stale, funky smell. And that's it. Shake it up before each use and spray away. And I'm fine using that on my grout. It doesn't stain, it does a great job cleaning and it smells so good. Just a plug for Slim and Sassy or Smart and Sassy. It has two citrus oils in it. It has lemon and grapefruit. It has peppermint, which is a beautiful smell. Cinnamon, which has antiseptic, antiviral, antibacterial properties, and ginger. And, you know, although ginger is great for metabolism, ginger is spicy and it smells fantastic. You would be surprised in the bathroom how wonderful that is. Every time you spray it, every time I spray it, I smile. Okay, so that's my first all purpose. Next up. I've recently had use for a mold and mildew spray. I find under the, under the caulking in my tile shower, we were not well ventilated for some reason in this bathroom. I did not build it with my hands and we get a bit of black buildup, which is unsightly, but also you can smell that mildewy smell. So what I'm doing with this one, I'm using some biodegradable hydrogen peroxide. I believe I've pre-measured that. I have a a quarter of a cup here. You could probably get away with a lot less. It's just in my brain, I think, I'm thinking more is more. So I'm going to do that. This is an eight ounce bottle. My recipe calls for 25 drops of tea tree, which is wonderful. I like tea tree better than a citrus oil for this purpose, because that way, if there's anything plastic in there, like that caulking, I'm not worried that the citrus oil might, might disrupt or break it down. Okay, so I've got my 25 drops going in. I'm going to just eyeball this again. It's really not that important to me. At the end of the day, there's peroxide in there anyway. <laughs> so it's still going to work no matter what. Let's call that 25. And then additionally, I'm adding clove. My recipe calls for three drops of clove. Clove is a monster in terms of its antioxidant value, in terms of its, um, its ability to, let's just say, kill, protect, <laughs> preserve things. And I like the smell. If you don't like the smell, cut it down to one or two drops, but I'm even going to five. 
just because I like it. And this is very pleasant to my nose, at least. Two very protective oils from an emotional perspective. They protect your boundaries. I like that they protect your surfaces similarly. And then I top that with distilled water as well. I think I'll just keep moving for the sake of time and I'll fill that later. So there you go. Okay, third is a glass and mirror cleaner. You could in a pinch, take your lemon oil, put it on a cloth and probably wipe the thing down and it would be great. But let's just extend our oils a little bit for the sake of economy. And this one, dead simple, water, vinegar, lemon oil. How simple could it be? And if you don't like lemon, use lime. Use wild orange, use any citrus oil you want. I like lemon for this use because it smells fresh and lemons, again, make me happy. <laughs> so in this one, you could get away with as few as five drops of lemon, but I like the smell, so I'm going with 10. Just because I can, and I like that, that's kind of the height of empowerment to me. I'm the one in charge here in my house with my cleaning products. Uh, I don't know, that might be my favorite aspect of essential oils is that I'm running the show. <laughs> okay, and so in that one, this is going to be just a 50-50 of distilled water and vinegar. I already have the vinegar in here and I have a great big jug of water, which I don't want to spill for you. <laughs> so I'm going to do that afterward. So that's it, you're just shaking. Good spritz it right on the mirror, or again, you could do it on a cloth or on paper towel. Boom, cleans. And this works great on my stainless fridge too. So all purpose, I love that. Okay, here's where it gets a little bit more fun, a little bit more complicated. I've called this one that smells better. <laughs> and this is a poopery. It's a toilet spray basically. And you can take this one, you can spray the surface before you go in. And then after you flush, you can give it another spray. So not only does it smell great, but the ingredients in it actually seal the odors underneath the water. And I'll show you how that's done. So this calls for a tablespoon, I've pre-measured everything today, a tablespoon of glycerin. That glycerin is going to help form a seal on the surface of your water. This is a four ounce bottle. What is that, 120 mils? I think these are all glass. I like glass with the mister sprayers wherever possible or trigger sprayers. We get these from our various suppliers uh, and we'll provide resources for that. One tablespoon, so we've done one tablespoon of glycerin, one tablespoon of witch hazel, and this is just an unscented, unflavored, just clean witch hazel. Then my oils for this one, uh, I keep looking at my recipes here, are uh, bergamot, lemon, lime, and lemongrass. And lemongrass is the real winner here. I didn't need, I could have done just lemon and lemongrass or lime and lemongrass because lemongrass is so potent and powerful. And you might think, ooh, lemongrass, that smells too strong. In the bathroom, there's something about lemongrass, lemon glass, lemongrass in cleaning products that I think, just try it. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay, so for this one, we will do simply, let me look here just to be sure. I'm going to do, it says 12 drops each. That sounds like a lot to me. I'm gonna take it down. I'm going to do five of each. I think I could have probably gone to a bigger bottle. So that was five lemongrass. Uh, oh, you lids. <laughs> That's five lemon. Five bergamot. And again, we're just going to fill with distilled water. So love that I can just do these things with water, vinegar, peroxide, you know, a little bit of baking soda, citric acid, Epsom salts. That's my whole house right there, you know, covered. Yes, there was glycerin, but if you don't have glycerin, you could do this without glycerin. You just might need a few extra sprays, right? And there you go. That's five. I've actually made a tiny one, so I won't fill this one again with my distilled water, but I have another one. And in fact, I have one in every bathroom now because they're so great. I could do different smells, but I'm really liking oils like lemon eucalyptus, citronella, lemongrass, because they have that fresh pungent aroma that lingers. If you like geranium, you go right ahead. Uh, but that's another one that will stay and permeate the bathroom in a way that makes you a little bit reminiscent of those Glade kind of sprays, but so, so infinitely more healthy, <laughs> right? Okay, last up. 
little side shift. Fizzing toilet cleaner. Could have made pods, but that requires all kinds of molds and then I have to store them. This is so much easier for my lazy self. All it is is a cup of baking soda. I'm gonna use one quarter cup of citric acid. We will provide a supplier for that as well. You can buy it at your bulk store, but it comes in much smaller quantities and I don't find it to be a particularly good value. And then for this one, I can't remember what the original recipe called for. It was something minty. I think it was actually, I think it was wintergreen, but I thought I'd shake things up a bit. So I'm doing, uh, it's 21 drops total was 20, but I'm making it 21 so I can use even amounts. Seven peppermints, seven wintergreen, seven spearmint. And this is just gonna be like trident chewing gum extraordinaire. <laughs> that's, that's my goal here. And we will do that seven. I may not do them all for you right now, but it's this simple, okay? I will do it once I'm off camera. I got a great big parfait spoon here. I will gently stir and I could shake. That would work too. I've done it in a mason jar so that it will seal tightly. And then each time I want to clean the toilet, I dig a tablespoon of this, drop it in the toilet, leave it for 15 or 20 minutes, come back, do the swish around and flush and that's it. Now, if you wanted to make these into pods though, you could take a little spritz bottle with the biodegradable hydrogen peroxide and spray, just spritz until it's just wet enough to be cakey, you know, and then you could, you could put in molds and let those dry at least 24 hours and you can do it as pods. I just think this is probably easier to carry from bathroom to bathroom and I would do a bigger quantity. It already smells good and I've only put one oil in. <laughs> so that's it. Those were five. I could have shown 25 different recipes, but honestly, it wouldn't be necessary because this is all I need to carry through my entire house and clean. That's it for me. Thanks. Okay, so now I'm going to take you through a little bit of um, my nighttime routine with doTERRA. And I think, first of all, I just want to talk to you a little bit about, I think we've mentioned, if you've seen some of our other Lunch and Learns um, on this topic of getting rid of toxic chemicals and, you know, artificial fragrance and things throughout your home. Really looking at ingredients can become completely overwhelming. There's so much out there. There's so much on the internet. And what I really encourage you to do is the more you learn what you're using and maybe take a product you have and scan it. There's a couple apps that if you go onto the environmental working group, there's one called Think Dirty. You can actually scan the barcode on the app and it will give you a rating, either like a, a red, meaning not so good, major concerns, uh, a yellow, which is kind of middle of the road, and a green, which is much more safe. So um, we don't have to know every single additive in there when we're looking at products, but we do need to know which ones we really have to be concerned about. And the thing I love about doTERRA is that I know doTERRA is doing the research. I know doTERRA, when I use the products, I don't have to worry. And yet, I still, as I was making my switches, I did start looking at different things in my home that I already had. And I was actually a little bit, a little bit worried when I started seeing them about the fact that I had used these for years and years and years and really didn't know what I was using. Anyways, with that, I'm gonna go through a little bit of my uh, routine. And the first thing I wanna mention is we talk a lot about diffusing and about changing our emotion based on our limbic system when we inhale something um, that goes up into our brain and, and automatically can make a shift. And one of the important things at night for me is that I sort of down, I gear down. And so in doing that, I like to use a lot of calming oils, things that will make me relax, you know, little foot massages, just to get me ready to go to sleep. And we'll be in a future video going through what we do in the evening, but I have about an hour or so prep as I'm winding down. And a lot of that happens in the bathroom. So one of the things that obviously very important when we're going to bed, we want to make sure our teeth are clean. And nowadays, everybody's very concerned about that white smile. So what I want to go through a little bit is, is some of the oral hygiene that I do. And one of the really great things is doTERRA uh, probably, I don't know, a year and a half maybe now it's been, they came up with an a new on-guard toothpaste. And this toothpaste sort of takes away 
the concerns, if you've done any reading around fluoride, a lot of they've, they've gone to putting fluoride in water, taking it out, there's mixed messages on this, but this has no fluoride in it. However, it does have the on guard benefits of our on guard oil in here, as well as a couple of things. Um, one of them is called hydro, um, hydro oxy appetite. And basically that's a big long word, but, but basically what it talks, it means is the enamel of our teeth is so important to keep our teeth healthy. And with a lot of the different toothpastes that are out there now, and especially the whitening ones, they really seem to break down the enamel. And if we do that over years, it actually decrease, decreases the enamel and increases our chances of having cavities and erosion in our teeth. Um, so what's nice about this one is it actually, the hydroxy appetite actually has a remineralizing, so it helps restore that enamel. But on top of that, it's whitening. So it does have a, a, a natural whitening uh, ingredient in it that is just a silica and it's just very, very fine. Um, you don't actually feel it in the toothpaste, but it helps with the whitening. And I can honestly say um, I've used whitening toothpaste in the past and I'm finding this one absolutely great and I don't have to worry about any of the ingredients in it. So I love, love, love that. And then on top of that, we have the on guard mouthwash. So after I do that, before I go to bed, I do use my on guard mouthwash. Um, I also use it in the morning. It's got, both of them have a great cinnamon. Um, the toothpaste is a little more with your winter green and your peppermint on top of that. But the on guard uh, mouthwash is great. You can just swish it around, um, hold it in your mouth, get rid of some of the bacteria in our gums and things like that before we head off to sleep. So those are two of my favorite oral hygiene products, but I want to tell you, if you don't have the mouthwash, you can do a DIY. This is just a glass bottle. If you just want something refreshing, or maybe you've run out of your uh, on guard mouthwash, if you do, I just labeled it with a little label, or I have nothing fancy. It just says mouthwash, so people know what it is. I just put a little bit of peppermint in there. You can use a little on guard if you want, and just use that as a refreshing mouthwash as well. So that's that. So that's in the morning with the washing. The next thing I want to talk about is hair. Um, and if you can see, for those of you who know me, I usually wear my hair really straight, but with being off now for a little while, I've been trying to harness my curl or my natural wave in my hair. It's rather long. Uh, so I use the doTERRA, uh, you know, shampoo and conditioner. But what I want to talk a little bit about is some of the things that people may not know that we have. Um, this one here is a healthy glaze. It's a hair glaze. So if you, any of you have natural wave or curl, what I like to do is I just wash my hair with my, I use only conditioner near the end so that I'm not losing or not putting a lot of weight. A lot of people use shampoo and conditioner way up in their scalp and that can actually cause a little bit of drying. So if you keep it a little bit lower, it's better. Then I just take a towel and I dry off the ends and I actually take this glaze and I just put it, I put quite a bit, it's not hard or crunchy. Um, I put it along my hair and I naturally let my hair dry. So I'm not finding I have to, you know, be blow drying and straightening, which can be so damaging on your hair. And I found this product to be absolutely amazing. And the other thing I, I, I really, really love when I'm using the hair is after my hair is dry, then I use this root to tip serum. And that just, you know how sometimes you get a little bit of flyaway? That just kind of gives you that extra sheen. It smells like peppermint. It's absolutely lovely. So you're getting the aromatic benefit. People have actually said, oh, your hair smells great. So I love that root to tip. Um, and when we're talking about hair as well, we talk about diffusing. I, when I'm getting ready for, for my bath in the evening, I always have my diffuser on. And honestly, I love Serenity. That's one of our calming blends. I put a little bit of Serenity in there. Sometimes I add a bit of wild orange and it sort of sets the mood for me to wind down and take my bath. Um, and when I am heading into the bath, even with my hair sometimes, I will spritz. So whether you're going out during the day or in the evening, you want something very calming. It's amazing how if we, we can put a little bit of oil, even if you put some on your hand, just right from the bottle, and then just put it into your hair, it can not only nourish and, and shine, but it also gives you a great aroma. So if you don't want to put it on your body, you want to add a little bit, it's like a diffuser. Uh, so that's as far as hair, and I do that often in the evening actually, and then I, I let my hair dry and then I just go to bed. But while I'm, after I've done that and I've got my hair all washed, then I usually like to soak in the tub. One of my favorite things to use is Epsom salts for that. So 
I just keep a little tiny bottle here. I have a large jug of the salts, but I like to individually put the fragrance in. So what I do is just have about a cup here and I add a little bit of my fractionated coconut oil. So I have my pump, uh, here it is. I have my pump and I just add a little bit of that to, help, to bind with the oil. And then I put a couple drops of oil, usually about eight or so, it depends on whatever you like. And I mix it up, I shake it up, I put the top on, shake it up, and then I dump that into my warm running tub. And between that, the aroma of that, plus my diffuser, it's just like a spa in my bathroom. It's so, so calming. Once I've got out of the bath, <laughs> then I wanna put something on. I love the layering effect. And I, I, years and years and years ago, I used to go to a place that I won't mention the name, but they had everything matched their scent. So they had, you know, your shower gel and your body cream and your candles and all those things that were really toxic. But I've been able to do the same thing with doTERRA. So after I get out, I have two things I like to do. Um, actually a couple. This spa body uh, oil, it's like a hydrating mist and it's our beautiful blend. If anyone's ever smelled this, it's more of an oil type. It's beautiful on your skin if you need that nourishing. Um, and it's got a beautiful aroma, but also again, I'm gonna talk about my serenity because it's one of my favorite for bedtime. I like to use the our body um, butter on my heels and on my feet and put some socks on. Um, but then there are unscented hand and body lotion. What you can actually do is just use it. It can be a different scent every time. If you're in the morning and you want to have something invigorating, if you're in the evening and you want to calm, I just put a little drop of cream in my hand. And then I take my serenity oil and I put a couple drops of that and I rub it together and I can put it over all over my body. The other option you can do is you can actually Get a little um, pipette. Mine went missing on the counter. Anyways, it's a little pipette and you can pull up right from the orifice reducer in your um, Serenity bottle. You can pull up some oil and it can actually get instilled right into the oil and then you shake it up or into the lotion and then you shake it up and you can make your own body lotion that's scented. So that's a great option too. But because I use my body lotion with different scents, I just like to put a peep, that drop, couple drops in my hand and rub them together. And the lotion will help to keep it there so you keep the aroma there. It's not getting um, absorbed as much, it's staying longer on the skin. So those are a couple of my favorites. Um, the other thing I like to do in the bath, especially at this time of year is my heels. You know how your heels get hard and cracked? I've got a pool in the back, so I'm always walking on the cement. So I've got this soap line, um, file for my feet and so what I love to do is after I've got out of the bath I get in the habit of using that file to get rid of some of that dead skin um, at the end of the day and that's where um, our body butter comes in great and I or if you take some uh, coconut oil or shea butter of your own you can make your own emollient type of sort of salves that you put on put that on the bottom of your feet and then put your socks on and it's absolutely heavenly. So uh, one other thing I wanted to mention uh, when I was talking about my hair and I forgot is I have these wonderful bottles from doTERRA, these spray bottles. I use one for air freshener like Joanna was talking about, but I use another one for my hair. And so sometimes when you just need that pick me up with your hair, if you give it a little spritz, you can put in any kind of aroma um, in there that you want and it's just giving you, you can also use it for a body spray. So just by putting some oils in there, um, if you wanted to put some witch hazel or something to make it more of a fragrance that lasts longer, you could do that. There's so many DIY recipes, bath, bath bombs that you know you bought, you've seen in your different stores that have a lot of chemical components you can actually make. And doTERRA has a great DIY blog. So just put DIY, you can even Google it, DIY, whatever you're looking for, bath bombs, doTERRA, and you will get something come up if you do a search on Google, which is amazing. Um, last but not least, I want to talk a little bit about um, deodorant and um, our mud mask. And those people probably are looking and saying, what are you talking about? Why? What? How did those have um, anything to do with each other? But deodorant is something that 
many, many people are well aware there's a lot of information, there's a lot of studies being done, a lot of different controversy, but there is when you're talking about deodorant, you have deodorant and antiperspirant. Antiperspirant usually has aluminum in it. Um, when you're talking about antiperspirant, what you're doing is actually clogging your sweat glands. And for women, that's up around the breast tissue. Um, so there are a lot of different research studies that have gone on to look at whether this is something healthy to be doing on a regular basis. I personally have chosen not to. I, I, I think it's natural for us to do some sweating. Of course, I don't want to smell. And so <laughs> this balanced deodorant, we, um, we have a couple different scents in doTERRA de deodorant, but I love the balance. My husband actually is using the balance as well. But what I found was when I went from an antiperspirant slash deodorant to more of a natural one, um, I found there was some aroma there, sort of transitioning, which was difficult for me. What I found as a quick hack, if you ever do have an aroma, maybe you've been doing really heavy workouts and you haven't changed your shirt, taking some tea tree oil and just putting it under your armpits, Within seconds, the aroma is gone in the tea tree. If you don't want to smell like tea tree, it's gone very quickly as well. But using the doTERRA spa mud mask is wonderful for your face. I'm not really going to go into skincare. But what I found was using it to detox. Well, I guess that's a word. But using it under your underarms, much as you would on your face, it only takes about 10 minutes. Let it dry, rinse it off, gives it a little bit of a chance to. There's actually a change in the bacteria using a natural deodorant versus a regular. Everyone has bacteria on their skin, but it's that change in bacteria that's happening sometimes that can give you that aroma. So use this for a bit um, to help you as you're transitioning into a natural deodorant. Um, and I think, I think I'm done. So that's kind of my nighttime uh, routine. And I wanted to go a little bit into deodorant. So I hope that you guys have really, really enjoyed today's and I look forward to talking to you about the bedroom very shortly.